Philip Hammond's red box contains spending commitments of £25 billion photo by Christopher Furlongetti images Nigel Morris three days Wednesday November 22, 2017 Chancellor Philip Hammond loosened the purse strings as he set out plans to spend more than £25 billion to boost the economy and cushion Britain from the impact of Brexit in 2019. He put tackling the housing crisis at the heart of the budget, pledging moves to build more homes and to help more young adults on the property ladder by cutting stamp duty for first-time buyers. He set extra cash aside for spending on hospitals, transport and research and development, and vowed to pressure to ease the impact of Universal Credit UC. The spending plans came against a gloomy economic backdrop with projections revised downwards for growth, investment and productivity and with inflation creeping upwards. Change of direction They also marked a change of political direction from the Conservatives after years of bearing down on spending through austerity measures. Opposition parties protested that the package did nothing to relieve the strain on public services or to help working people facing a squeeze on their living standards. Nor was any extra money specifically allocated for pay rises above the public sector salary cap. But the budget measures, particularly the stamp duty announcement, were received with noisy approval on the government benches and eased the pressure on Mr. Hammond among Tory right-wingers who suspect him of trying to undermine Brexit. The Chancellor announced a £7.5 billion rise in National Health Service day-to-day -day spending across the UK, allocated another £2.3 billion for research and development and set aside £1.5 billion for cutting waiting times from UC claimants. Brexit preparations He also earmarked another £3 billion for preparations for Britain's withdrawal from the European Union in addition to £700 million already in the pipeline. The £25 billion boost is spread over the next five years, but will come to a head in 201,920, the year after Brexit, when the Treasury will pump almost £10 billion into the economy. Treasury aides insisted Mr Hammond had not forfeited the right to the nickname, Fiscal Phil, as the £25 billion spending had been funded from the headroom he had built up in the nation's finances. Mr Hammond was desperate to avoid a repeat of his March budget disaster when he was forced to abandon moves to raise national insurance rates for the self-employed. Bear traps dodge He avoided similar bear traps this time as he retreated from plans to lower the VAT registration threshold for small businesses and increase IV on diesel fuel. Both moves had been seriously considered by the Chancellor, but were abandoned in the face of concerted lobbying. The Chancellor raised the tax-free personal allowance to rise to £11,850 and higher rate threshold to £46,350 in April 2018. He insisted that the government would look forwards not backwards as the UK economy embarks on a path to a new relationship with the EU which will be of new challenges and new opportunities. A record of failure, but Jeremy Corbyn, the Labour leader, said he was presiding over a record of failure with a forecast of more to come. Liberal Democrat leader Vince Cable said, £3 billion of tax pay as money is disappearing down a Brexit black hole. It tells you everything you need to know about this government's priorities that more funding has been found for Brexit than for our struggling NHS, schools and police. The CBI Director General Carolyn Fairburn said, This is a budget that balances support for people on squeezed incomes with vital action to help grow the UK out of austerity. But the TUC said the measures fell far below what was needed to boost growth, get wages rising, and get Britain fit for Brexit. In news https